Hello everybody, we're What's Next and we want to make good days out, great days out. When somebody asks you, what did you do last weekend or what did you do last night, we don't want to hear, oh, well, I did this thing but it was okay. We want to hear, I did this thing and it was great, it was fantastic, it was amazing, it was something to remember. Our company helps people store memories. Memories are what we like to call hidden treasures. And we help suggest what's the next best great thing that you can do. We suggest it in real time. We're going to give you an example. Hi. So I'm going to take you through how it works. So I'm going to introduce you to Dave and Christy. They're out having a lovely day at the art gallery, enjoying taking it in. Uh, they're finished. They go outside. Dave says, how'd you like the gallery? Uh, Christy, great. What's next? That question that just haunts everybody. Uh, and then Dave pulls out, oh no, he says he's hungry. And then he pulls out the app. It's a trusty app. So what he does, he pulls out the app and he's introduced to what's next. And on the what's next page, there's two examples of two situations he could go down. He could begin or he could shuffle. What shuffle does is actually gives him a random, very spontaneous experience, an option for it, or what he could do is begin. So he decides to press and begin. Dave has already logged into the service. So in the service, he's got these pre-filtered options. The options have been pre-filtered from Dave's login profile, which he was asked to ask a few questions on his likes, his dislikes, what days he normally likes to go out and what he's really interested in. So he, they know he's came out of the v &A gallery and he's asked if he's hungry or thirsty, some of the common things he would like to do afterwards. He decides that he's hungry. So he's given some options on going with the flow, which is actually some of the popular options that people in the, in the local area have done, or explore for a hidden treasure, or actually any other deals that are available at the moment. So how do we do that to give him this option? So what we take into account is time and Dave's preferences and his memories. So time, we find out what the weather's like in the area, what the travel's like, are there any tube disruptions? Is this gonna affect where Dave wants to go? Is he gonna eat outside or is he gonna eat indoors? And we also take into account Dave's profile. So he's filled in that actually he's a vegetarian. He's also taken into account through Facebook what Dave's friends have recommended. So what Dave's friends have recommended and where they would like to go comes into this as well. So this brings us to the ideal place, which is actually a nice French cafe. And Dave decides to go to this place. So we're back at the cafe, Dave and Christy enjoying a lovely coffee. Uh, maybe they look over and they see a violin playing their favorite song, they whip out the phone, they record the video. And then they decide to leave the cafe, go home for the day, and that's when they're prompt to save this journey or this time capsule. So what Dave can do now is from that experience, from the pictures he's taken or some of the commentary from the day, he can actually save and store this on the app. And then this capsule gets buried, it gets put into, uh, into the app and then it can prompt be prompt you later on based on your location or perhaps time so if you pass the cafe again it will remind you of your previous journey that previous experience that memory creating a strong association with the place and the app that's that thank you okay great so we hope you can see what our little appsters can get out of using the app they get great suggestions they get it in the location that they're in and they get it right now in real time and we hope that you can see potentially what some of the business benefits might be so we could charge for our pro app and for the pro app you get to have all the discounts from the best places and vip entry but what i'm really excited about um, is to talk to you about what's next for what's next so by the time three years has passed, What's Next will run a membership service for local companies. So in our initial scenario, there's somebody missing, and that's the person that's working in the cafe. Now the person that's working in the cafe has paid for our membership, which means she has all the information about the customers that are coming to her. She knows that Dave and Christy have been to the V&A. She knows that most of her customers come from there, and as they take a seat with their coffee, she offers them an art book. 
Also, she knows the kind of music they like because we've also got customers such as iTunes and Spotify, so she can create a play playlist whereby she knows that 70% of the people in her cafe at any given time love the next song that's coming on. Great, thank you. to the Johnny Rogers and the Amazings because I think our work is along similar lines and we respect what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, how are we going to make Mark Zuckerman kind of money out of this? business model canvas so we have lots of ideas of how we're going to start with it so initially probably uh, we could be looking at a partnership with Time Art magazine and see if we could do maybe like a white label app for them but obviously the important thing is that we actually want to uh, create a network of businesses that can work together to create um, like more of a holistic experience so it's not about just going to the cafe it's going to about going to the VNA maybe you know later because we already know that that Dave is going to the V&A, uh, he gets a newsletter, there's a new exhibition, so then again we know he has been to the Paris Café, so maybe this time we send him to somewhere similar that we know from his likings he will like as well. So what we're basically doing is we're trying to do a lot of data mining and send uh, this kind, sell this kind of data to businesses which um, uh, was mentioned in regards to you know kind of um, uh, providing them a, a membership service where they can dig into that data and I think we we really think there's a gap in the market for for these holistic experiences where everything just works out and it's all really great and not just food was good concert was shitty so we, we just want to yeah try to to create a holistic experience and work together with businesses so potentially you can get the users and the businesses to pay you definitely yeah. Okay. yeah so the app could cost something um, or you know, the businesses pay for the membership of the data mining um, things like that different options Hi, you, you presented two almost distinct ideas in your presentation. One was about exploring what to do next after the gallery, for example, and then you also talked about going back and reliving the memories. Which one of those do you think is more, more important than the other? I think they, they really hang together because what we found out in our research is that people have these kind of triggers of memories that get them to a really happy place so like what we showed you with you know like Dave was saying you, you go past the cafe that you actually walked past uh, that you actually have been to um, and then your phone vibrates sends you that little message of actually you've been here you know three months ago and you know look at your time capsule of what you stored so it's kind of like this um, you you have this happy memory through this experience that was really good and that was created for you and then you will uh, remember it and possibly hopefully do it again and because you have positive memories with a hotel a cafe or whatever and you will remember the name all of a sudden when that trigger comes and you will go there again so it's repeat business so we think okay so so it's because all that sounds very interesting but it it didn't contain any of the buzzwords you used a minute ago when you were talking about how to monetize the service and, and how to sell sell the app to people. So, so, so what, I'm is not there, sure is, what there mean. Is, is the money in discovering new places to go or in the memories, in your view? Um, well, I guess the money you get out of discovering the places because you know that's where the businesses come in, where the businesses benefit from but the memory is important because you you know you get reminded that you can have another of those great experiences if that makes sense okay thank you any more questions so, it was nice that you put a little bit in the presentation about where what's next could be in three years time have you thought about where you want to take this and how you want to take it forward as a team I think we're ready to go because I think it, like, it sounds like um, it's something that we could get money for initially to start slowly with creating the product, creating the website or the app, 
Um, and, and then like working really agile and, and working with you know users and really test all the time and go forward all the time. So so this could be you know developed in very short cycles um, and then be created into something bigger. And if we can get to the stage where we can actually uh, engage businesses and create like a whole experience, I think that'd be great. And that would I mean for us we are also the target group for this because we would love to to have this experience. Just one final question. Um, do, do any of you guys have any development experience? Because I imagine that data mining and filtering for all these amount of stuff is quite a lot of work. Yeah, I think that expert we need to get in, but there is startup experience in the team, so um, I think we know pitfalls and we know that we need help from people and mentors and people like you, but I think, um, yeah, the motivation is there. Great. So, so which of the six of you are interested in taking this forward? Fantastic, thank you.